All right, we messed around with the FRS for the last few days. We worked on the S2K a few days. It is time to get back to work on an Evo. We have not touched this car. We have not changed this car up at all. In a while, there's a lot of little things on the car that I wanna change over the next few days. First things first being the color of the calipers. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for today. The calipers on the 10, the OG 10, the OG Evo, the car that got me into Evos in general. It might be kind of hard to see with the wheel on, but there's a lot of clear coat flaking off. They're just not all that good looking in general. And I did decide, at least I think I decided I wanted to change the color. If we do red, it's not gonna be the same red that's on here. It'll be, uh, it'll be this red right here, which is very dirty right now. So I should probably wash this car. But as of right now, I am kind of thinking I wanna do a color that stands out. We had a black STI a while ago. We did a white calipers on it and they were my favorite, but we only ended up owning that car for maybe a month after I got it done and then I ended up selling it. I'm thinking as of right now, I wanna do white calipers on the Evo 10 on both sides. Initially, I was gonna do red on one side, blue on the other, kind of how the wheels are, but I would do opposite so the red calipers would be on the blue wheel side. But I decided against that, I wanna just keep it all the same on both sides. As of right now, we're gonna be doing white. It should look really, really nice. Car is clean, car is on the lift. We are ready to tear into this thing. So let's go ahead and pop off the wheels and then we need to remove the calipers. Not all that long ago, we did new pads and had the rotors resurfaced. So as long as the pads still have plenty of life left, I'm just gonna leave them. Uh, I might be coating the, the rotors, just the hub part. I guess we'll see when we tear it all apart. Here's a little better look at the crustiness and condition of the current coating on the calipers. The clear is flaking off everywhere. These guys are super easy to remove. Two bolts on the backside holding the caliper onto the spindle and then one bolt for the brake line, caliper comes off. All right, we got all the calipers off. Let's go ahead, get them disassembled and get these things in the powder coat shipper tank, which is that yellow tank over there. We're gonna pull the pads by removing these two pins right here. And then we're gonna separate the two halves of the calipers by removing the four bolts on the backside, pull the bleeder screws out, rinse them off with water real quick and get them in the powder coat shipper tank. Calipers are completely torn down. We went ahead to grease them, press wash them, and now we have them in the stripper tank. They've been in there for about 20 minutes. They should be ready to pull out and go ahead and move on to sandblasting. Let's take a look at them, see if the stock powder coat is off. So here's how the calipers look straight out of the stripper tank. They're pretty clean. I'm gonna go ahead and sandblast them just to get them 100% spotless. Get a nice rough surface on them for the powder to adhere better. Plus there's a little bit of powder left on this brake line here. All right, let's go ahead and get these calipers masked off. So we're gonna start with the rears. I'm gonna do both rears at the same time. 
I wish I could do all four at the same time. That'll come in the future when we get a proper oven. But all we have to mask off is where the piston goes. So I'll mask this area off right here. And then all of the threads. Other than that, we should be good. The two rear calipers are in the oven right now for the pre-bake cycle. And then we're gonna pull them out as soon as the timer goes off, let them cool down a little bit and spray out the polar white powder from prismatic powders. We do not have much left at all. This is left over from when we did the brakes on that black STI. I hope that's enough. If we run out, we're gonna be kind of screwed. So I'm gonna spray as carefully as possible because we literally have like a half pound. If I go do this and we run out of powder, we might have to uh, change the color that we're doing on these calipers. I should probably check that beforehand. Let's go ahead and get it loaded in the hopper, get the hopper on the gun. We're using a Redline EZ50. This thing's been a trooper for a while now. I'll go ahead and have the powder and this gun linked down in the description box below. All right, let's get these things spread out. The rear calipers are back in the oven. These things should look really, really nice, especially behind. I won't say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm sure some of you guys already know. 400 degrees, 12 minutes part metal temperature. That's gonna come up to probably like 20-ish minutes because the 12 minutes starts after the caliper reaches 400 degrees. So get those all finished up, bang out the fronts, and then we're actually gonna do the rear rotors as well. Of course, not where the brake pad rides, but just the center hub section. I decided not to do the fronts just because they are gyro disc rotors that we run on the front. And it's like an anodized look. I could probably clean them up a little bit with maybe some degreaser because I think that's just brake dust that's like stuck on there. But they're actually anodized in the center. And I don't really want to powder coat over all these cool looking logos. So I'm gonna leave the front. Rears are kind of rusty though. So that's what the rears look like. So here's how the rears turned out. These things are so bright. This is like the perfect white that I found. Polar white from Prismatic. So beautiful. Timer just went off for the front. Let's go ahead, pull them out, get them sprayed out, throw them back in the oven, get them flowed out so they look nice and beautiful like this. And then we're gonna have to pull them out, let them cool down for a while. In the meantime, we're gonna spray these things black. All right, let's go ahead and get one of the rears assembled. So we have everything laid out here. Caliper is split apart. We have two seals. These are the oil seals and then two of the dust seals. And then don't forget on the rear calipers, there's a seal that goes in between right up in there. Don't forget that or you will have a very, very big leak. So I'm gonna be using some brake fluid to get these things back together. I guess we do need two pistons as well. These go right in the groove, piston goes in, Dust seal goes over the piston, then presses right into the outer groove right there. First caliper is complete. We just have to install the decal. 
get it on the car. I'm gonna go ahead, powder those two rotors, and then we can knock out the other three calipers and move on from there. Hello, Miss Chef. Hello. Look who came to join the party. Wow. What? It was beautiful. I didn't know what color to do, so I did white. Yeah, I like it. Good Sick. choice. Give me Nux. Okay, let's go eat. Uh, Is that dinner? Mm -hmm. Can I eat while I work, please? Sure. Because I think I, it's this one. What did mom brew up today? Tacos. Is it Tuesday? No. Oh, what day is it? Monday. Monday? The concentration. Good enough. Beautiful. Check that out. What do you think? Not too shabby. Not too centered. <laughs> Here's the finished product. There's a little bit of staining going on, but uh, I'll wipe them down because we still have to cer ceramic coat them. But check this out. So while we were down in um, Tennessee, Nashville area, we met up with Jack. So Jack hit me up on Instagram. He's like, dude, I got some Evo 10 parts laying around. I think he blew the motor on his car and uh, went up, went and met up with him and he, he supplied some goodies for our Evo 10. So this is, this is one of the things he gave us. And I'm not sure what brand they are, but they're braided brake lines. Before we put the Brembo's back on the car, I'm gonna put these bad boys on. There's some other stuff he gave me as well that I'm excited to install, but that's not tonight because I don't wanna. We're gonna start off with the fronts first. The front already have part hard line on it and I'll show you guys what I mean. So we're just replacing the soft line. So where it connects to the caliper, that metal line there, we're not replacing. But from right there, all the way to right there, we're replacing with the braided. So we're gonna do the fronts first and then move on to the rears. We finally got the braided lines on, so that's how the front looks. Connects there from the factory hard line, runs down, it connects back to the factory hard line in the front. The rears, you replace the whole thing. Right from that hard line right there, runs down and pops out the back. Let's go ahead and get the calipers and rotors on the car and see how they look. Okay, we got all the brakes reinstalled. Bobby and I are gonna run through real quick and bleed them, and then we can see what they look like behind the wheels. Ready? Come on down. Your services are requested. Okay, I was gonna ceramic coat them, but it's late as shit, and I'm annoyed. 12.30. I'm gonna put a wheel on, and I'm leaving. Just one? Well, maybe two. A red one and a blue one. So I gotta pull the wheels back off anyway. Is this what happens when it's too late? Yes. Ooh, that's fire. Looks cool. You're kind of happy. Everything that we used in today's video will be linked down below. Shout out to Prismatic Powders for supplying this beautiful powder. Shout out to Bobby for helping me bleed these 
stupid brakes. Shout out to Jack for the brake lines. And also shout out to me for supplying the tacos. Shout out to Bobby for tacos. Over and out, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Every time I do brakes, it's late as shit and I need to stop doing that. Goodbye.